my peoples I'm here and I'm going to make soup today this soup have no meat okay it's all vegetables so it's a um, bok chow pumpkin soup okay and there is no meat just vegetables and that's about it all right guys so I'm not gonna heat stay up here and blab all day long because I don't like my videos long I like them short and to the point so let's get into it okay I have my pot already on the stove all right I already boiled some water so I'm gonna add it to the pot the pot is hot Cool down. I'm gonna add my scallion. Yep. I'm going to add my pumpkin and rosemary. I love to cook with rosemary, guys. Almost all my dishes have rosemary in them. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all my pumpkin and some chocho. If you guys don't know what chocho is, this is what it look like. I have other videos with the entire um, vegetable, what it looks like. Okay. In Jamaica, we call it chocho. I went into the commissary the other day and I see they have it, they named it squash, but this is not squash, unless it's from the squash family, but back home we call it chocho. So I'm adding my pumpkin to the pressure cooker, guys. If you're wondering why I'm using a pressure cooker, I don't want to stand here all day and wait for this pumpkin to cook. And like I say, I like my videos short and to the point short and spicy so i'm going to go ahead so today i'm just gonna put it in the pressure cooker okay let me add some more water to it yep that's enough to cook it let me see let me see see that's what it look like in the pot okay all right I mean, drop me a piece of ginger in there, okay? Wrap just like that. I'm not gonna crush it. It will cook out in my soup. And this one is bok chow pumpkin soup, okay? I will add to this a maggi cube, one maggi cube, one maggi cube. Then I will add half teaspoon, half teaspoon garlic salt. I'll add me some pimento, a little pink Himalayan, just a little tip of Himalayan salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. And I'm going to cover this and let it cook for about five minutes. Yeah, guys, with the pressure cooker, it doesn't taste long. I do my ox tail, my goat meat in here. 20 minutes, my goat meat done. 20 minutes, my ox tail done. So, yep. And then I'll turn it up. Yeah. All right. Let me find my timer so I can set it. All right, my lovely people. Here's my timer. And I'm going to set it to five, six, seven minutes. Give it seven minutes, okay? All right. Guys, you can hear the pressure cooker going, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. All right, my people, you hear the pressure cooker going? Let me see on my timer. I have another one, two minutes left on my timer. And what I'll do is, when the timer goes off, I'll push it over, turn it to zero. There's, like, there's two levels on my pressure cooker, one and two. Right now I'm cooking it on one. So what I'm going to do, like if I'm cooking pumpkins or carrots or you know them hard vegetables chocho, I turn it to one. And if I'm doing like chicken or so, then I will just I'll turn it to two. But so what I'll do is just push it, push it 
push it to the side and turn it to zero so the air comes out and then after the air comes out it will be cool enough and it will be safe to open and then I'll just go ahead and um, open it so yeah I got what another minute yep my pressure cooker go yep so like I say guys like I say this soup is um bok chow pumpkin soup and I'm not adding much to it I have my pumpkin I have some carrots I have my pak chow and I have some coconut milk it's winter here guys so I don't want my soup too liquid so I'm going to add the coconut milk to get to make it a little bit thick for uh, them winter days in Germany okay all right so it's almost done almost done anyhow until then listen how are you guys doing today I, I pray and I hope you guys having a good day as, as, as always you know I always say thank you guys for subscribing and I thank the viewers for watching guys the other day I had a video that went to 4,000 viewers I'm like 4,000 viewers I give God thanks but I'm like why didn't they subscribe but hey what are the day I guess you know by me making more videos and more videos I will get there one day I'm not in a rush trust me I am not in a rush so I'm taking my time and with all you guys we're gonna get this done okay time it on my watch and this is time so I'm gonna just push it to the side turn my stove down and I will just let it um, cool off for a little bit and then go from there. Alright my peeps, I'm going to let the ear out. I'm just going to turn this knob to... So the ear is out and I pull it back over here. All the ear is out so I might just twist it and open it. Yep. Yeah. Yep, and there you have it guys my pumpkin is done I can tell because look at the water all dark and all so it's ready all right my people so it's ready I'm going to go ahead and add add my uh, rest of my my carrots yes guys this is simple I add my carrots then I'm gonna go ahead and add my coconut milk. Add my coconut milk, give it a good stir. And then I'm going to add my bok chow. I add, my, I add the bok chow last because, you know, it, it's easy to cook. Two, two minutes from this boil, it's done. So let me add my bok chow now. guys and this one is bok chow pumpkin soup yes and that's all I want in the carrots pumpkin and my bok chow let me taste it to make sure it's good to go oh yeah let me give you guys a close-up in the pot hold on now guys listen you don't have to just add bok choy you can add you can do bok choy and you can do you can add whatever other vegetables you want to add to it okay this is what i have a taste for so this is what i am adding to my pot look at it guys yeah all right so you see how it look let me see if, let me get my spoon bok chow carrots and pumpkin that's it with coconut milk okay so I'm going to cover this and let it boil for a quick three minutes I don't know what happened to my timer guys I might have to get another timer because it didn't go off but clearly as you guys see the pumpkin don't cook but the timer didn't go off so I have to get me a new timer so I'm gonna let this simmer I'm gonna let this boil for come to a boil for three minutes, then it's ready. That's it. 
All right, I'm going to cover it and just let it boil. As you can see, this is what's going on in the pot. It's ready. Ready, ready, ready. All right. Let me give you guys another close-up. I don't think you guys got it the first time. <laughs> it looks good, nice and creamy. I'm going to turn the stove off right now. Right now, because I don't want no mushy vegetables that I might push it to this side. Let me get a plate, guys, and show you. What's going on? Ready to eat. Right off the stove, no meat. Yeah? Right, look at this guys. Hey, ha. looks good. Yeah, I have a taste for this soup here, so I say, what better way than to share it with my subscribers and my viewers? All right. See what me I say? Look good. Mm-hmm. All right. You guys can see. See there? Bok chow pumpkin soup. Okay, guys? All right. It's another one for you guys. Enjoy. I'll catch you in the next video. All right. What well, good?